But six Bay Area climate scientists are keeping a close eye on the wildfires burning in Australia. KPX finds get dough on the never before seen phenomenon that's been fueling them. The meteorology department here at San Jose State says some of the things happening in Australia right now have never before been seen in human history. <laughs> You're looking at video of the Australian fire shot from a commercial airliner, a weather phenomenon that up until now was rare and unusual. It's called a pyrocumulonimbus cloud. Yeah, so a pyrocumulonimbus is a fire generated thunderstorm. And it's when a fire gets so big and there's so much heat release that the air mass from the fire actually rises vertically into the atmosphere, but really, really deep, unlike most smoke plumes. As a result, they can be seen from space. And if they look ominous here, this is what it's like to fly through one. What's more, they also spawn fire tornadoes, along with lightning and heavy downdrafts that carry embers for miles and cause spot fires far away from the main fire line. Craig Clements, head of San Jose State's Fire Weather Lab, says their numbers and intensity are unprecedented. To have so many at one time is unique. This is probably the largest outbreak of pyrocumulonimbus nimbus uh, on Earth. 24 people dead, 2,000 homes destroyed, and at this rate, they'll have to wait for a few more months until fall or winter rains douse the flames. Which begs the question, is this related to climate change? I'm sure it's a factor, 100% sure it's a factor. Dr. Allison Bridges says it'll take months to make a firm determination, but all signs point to one thing. There's been a lot of effort to ascribe severe extreme weather events to climate change, and they're all coming up with the same answer, which is that there is a connection. So I don't know why this would be any different. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.